This is a short tutorial on how to use the EBSCOhost database to help you find research articles for your film analysis paper. So we're going to start at the LibGuide link here. Go to your film analysis LibGuide. Click on newspapers and magazines. And we're going to select this link right here, Mountain View Public Library Databases. That'll take you to this page. And we're going to select articles and research here. And here's the link to the EBSCOhost research database. Now this is where you'll have to enter in your library card number that we gave you. And if you don't have that, just check with the librarian and uh, we can give you your number. And here's the home page for EBSCOhost. As you can see, EBSCOhost hosts a number of different databases. Uh, for this assignment, I would select the first two databases because they're good general databases. And then scroll down to Film and Television Literature Index with full text. And then hit Continue. And you'll get the search bar here. Now this is where you'll enter in whatever your search terms are. I'm just going to start with a general kind of search for Alfred Hitchcock. And you can see that we've got a lot of um, hits, 1,740. Some are going to be in languages other than English. Um, and you can sort of scroll down and get a quick sense of these different articles. Um, this is a magazine. This is an academic journal. And so you can sort of scroll through and look for what you look for what you want. Um, you can also narrow down the um, results if you want to. So if you want more recent articles, you know, from 1964 to 2014, for example, it'll update um, the articles here. If you only want magazines for you just want popular uh, sources, this is a place you click on magazine and it'll weed out all the academic journals. Similarly, if all you want are academic journals, you can click on that and de-click the magazines. And it'll give you just the academic journals. And scroll through these. And when you see an article that you like, click on this. And you can either read it as a full text. Sometimes they print it as an HTML file too. And it'll show up right here for you. You can print, email, save it, get a permalink to this. Always use this link here to reference back to the article. Never use the URL. Always use the permalink. And then if you want to cite it, it also gives you ways to cite it. MLA is right here, so you would just copy and paste that into your bibliography.